Hello everyone, this is me, Diyaha. Welcome to my channel and welcome... We <laughs> Energy is flowing already. Welcome to your weekly prediction. Okay, this is about the next 7 to 10 year, uh, days, maybe years. <laughs> um, so there will be three piles to choose from. The timestamps are down in the description box and if you ever want a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I do offer WhatsApp readings. I do offer regular readings. Um, so yeah, that's about what you can get from me. And if you don't want anything, if you only want to listen to these uploads, then yeah, feel free, right? So three parts to choose from, number one, number two, and number three. Make your choice. Should be intuitively made okay don't make um yeah don't think about it too much just go with the flow right this is number one number two and number three and i'll meet you in time stands bye pile number one if you have chosen the first pile let's have a look into the next seven to ten days what do we need to know king of wands is coming out i'm using the lenormand today the flowers, the star card, the moon. Okay, star, moon, and flowers. So right off the bat, I would say um, something from your past, someone from your past is probably returning, the king of wands. Um, and this is a karma situation. I mean, you may or may not know that right now there is a lot going on energy-wise. Um, I'm not an astrologist, but um, Jupiter and Uranus are in a conjunction and that happens only every 14 years, okay, every 14 years. And this is a very lucky connection because Jupiter is known as um, the planet that stands for good fortune happiness and yeah victory you know just being the lucky one and things like that whereas Uranus is about changes and transformation and also rebellion and revolution and if you combine these two energies um, you get something great out of it like everything is possible if you always wanted to go to Hawaii, now is the best time ever. If you always wanted to write a book, do it. Write a book, okay? Um, I think you get the point. So it's a very special time right now. And I feel re reconciliation is in the field for you, pile number one. I feel um, there will be offers, invitations dates, gatherings, you know, opportunities, good opportunities. Um, someone is probably reaching out their hands for you. As I said, reconciliation is definitely an option here. And it probably has to do with the King of Wands. Um, and this guy, I mean, he has potential, right? He definitely has potential. This could be a man who is sometimes a little bit too quick in, in his actions, um, speaking about someone who talks first and thinks about it later, someone who has probably regret what they said afterwards, but this is just them, okay? This is their personality. It's all about fire and passion and burning for something. And then later you're like, ouch, <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> yes, it was burning. Yes, there was a big fire, but now it hurts, okay? Um, yeah, this is it. This is them. So you have to know that. What else do we need to know? Card number one. What's coming in? The next seven to ten days. Yeah, and the happiness card, the clover. Um, the next two hours, days and weeks are going to be very special and happy. I see happy times for you. As I said before, I was talking about the astrology aspect. Um, and it's definitely out there for you. You can be the happy one, the lucky one. You can be the one who will definitely benefit uh, from the current situation. Is there any other information that wants to be given for those who have chosen the first pile? Let's just dig into it again. Let's just see if something else wants to come out. 
What is important for you, pal number one, is to listen to your intuition, to trust your gut feeling. If something feels weird and awkward, chances are that it is. Yes, it is awkward. It's weird. You should not do it. If it doesn't feel good, don't go there, okay? Um, if you want to quit something, quit something. If you want to start something, start something. Do it now. Give yourself permission and step out of your own way, okay? Are you hearing this, pile number one? Very important. Yeah, the final card for you, pile number one, is the Joker. Starting from scratch, being open, being a little bit, you know, like juvenile, a little bit uh, more, you know, adventurous, spontaneous. Kick your fears away. Very often, maybe you are a head person, someone who, maybe you are actually the opposite of the king of wands. You know, like maybe you think first before you do something, before you say something, you think about it, like all the time, monkey mind mentality. But you should step out of your own way, pal number one. You should really be a little bit more spontaneous when it comes to life in general. Uh, maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to go somewhere. Even if it's just for a day or maybe a night or two. I just been to Mallorca for three nights only. And I tell you what, it was awesome. I mean, like really, it was unforgettable. It was so... I don't know, I, I don't even have words for it, you know, like it was fantastic, mega, it was great and, and I, I was so proud of myself for giving myself, you know, this opportunity for investing in myself because these memories that you create, pal number one, when being a little bit more like to the Joker, those memories are priceless, really. So, yeah, be open, travel, trust, listen to your intuition. You are being guided towards abundance, 10 of coins. Wow, I mean, can this be any better? I don't think so. So, um, yeah, this is it. This is your reading, pile number one. I think you have nothing to be afraid of. You are stepping into a very abundant and powerful week if you want to, if you give yourself the permission, if you open up, if you allow yourself to be a little bit more, you know, adventurous and stuff, um, good things are coming your way. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I wish you only the best. Don't forget to leave a comment, share, like and subscribe because this way you can support me without paying anything or donating anything. This is not what I expect from you, but it would be so great if you just give back something in return by subscribing. Thank you so much. Peace out. Namaste. Part number two. What do we need to know? What's coming in the next seven to ten days? Just a quick, a short time frame, right? This is not about the rest of your life. So take it easy. Take everything with a grain of salt, right? And yeah, let's see. What do we need to know? Pile number two. The next seven to ten days. What's coming in? How's the energy going to be like for you guys? Okay, we have the flowers again. We have the star card again. It came up in pile number one as well. Um, and then the mountain and then this one. I don't know how to say it in English. Um, so something is happening for sure because this is a time card. It talks about events that are coming in quickly, fast. Um, you don't have to wait for those things quite long, okay? And... I see good things are coming your way, invitations, opportunities, um, emails, you know, like conversation and communication in general. Yeah, uh, positive feedback. You are reaching people with your words, with your actions. Um, the Three of Coins is a card that talks about promotion, being respected, um, appreciation, big time, right? incentives and you know like things like that so uh, people know what they you know that you are a worthy person and that you are worth it 
you are someone people want to work with, you know, uh, because they know your value. They know that you can support the team, whatever it is that you're doing. I don't know what it is, um, but you are supporting with your gift, with your talent, with your character, uh, with your experience. You are a very valuable person and your bosses, your team leader, your, your supervisor, whoever it is um, who's important for you. Um, they know it and they appreciate it. Okay, so this is one big message I'm getting. Um, what else? Is there anything else we need to know? Next seven to ten days. I see this is going to be a quite a active week, just generally. I think this is the message. The message is that you are working, you're doing your thing, you walk the extra mile if necessary, you have a lot of things going on, a lot of communication and stuff, you know. Maybe you will set up a new website, maybe you will uh, create flyers or events and workshops or, you know, like any kind of big or maybe not so big project. It can be something small. Maybe you would like to invite all of your friends for dinner or brunch. And this is what makes you being quite um, active and um, occupied in a good way. You know, like this is the thing. It's in a good way. Uh, being active, being, you know, um, driven and just lit in a, in a very optimistic, in a very positive way. Yeah, and healing. I see healing happening for you. Like underneath it all, underneath being so you know like lit and active and and occupied healing is taking place and maybe who knows the things that you do and the feedback that you get back in return is healing you in a way if that makes sense and i think it does it makes sense to me so i hope it does for you as well anything else pile number two this is Daniel, and Daniel is a um, is the angel of commitment. Wow, and he is um, on your side. So yeah, as I said, communication, connections, gatherings, you know, meeting the right kind of people. You know, people who are definitely worth investing time. In and stuff you know sometimes you feel like being with this or that person is a waste of time you know what I'm saying some I, I know it sounds bad and it makes you feel bad right if you think something like that um, because I think no one is a waste but sometimes the energy is just not matching this is what sometimes happens it's not that they are a bad person or you are a bad person or that someone is better than the other or whatever. It's just that the energy is not really matching. The attraction is not there. And this is what makes you feel like, ah, oh, this date, this uh, project with this person, you know, like this get together, it really was a waste of time. But um, I mean, we always learn and grow, by the way. But I feel you will be guided now towards the right kind of people. People where you feel like, okay, that was definitely not a waste. This was so worthy. This was so inspirational. This was so deep, so rich, so nourishing, right? Um, yeah, this is all about connecting and commitment. And maybe you will receive and experience healing, especially in the field of your relationships in general. Okay, I love that. That was so beautiful. Um, so I think I leave it here, you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, please. And I'll see you with the next reading. Peace out. Namaste. Panel number three. What do we need to know for you guys? The next seven to ten days. What's coming in? First card. Queen of Swords, decisions, you will make decisions, you will be very clear and straightforward to the point, right? You know your goal and 
you are on your way, right? The moon, all about feelings and the deception card, seven of swords. You will probably cut out people you really don't want to be with any longer. And I was talking about that in pile number two as well. At the end of pile number two, I was saying that sometimes we are connected and surrounded by people, hopefully not too many people like that, but sometimes, you know, like there's a person and you spend time with this person and afterwards you go home and you think, oh, wow, that was a waste of time. I should have rather went to the gym, you know, do my step class or whatever. But I mean, hey, you learn and grow always, right? With every experience. But the thing is, first of all, no one is a waste, okay? Please know that every person is worthy. But sometimes it's just not matching. You are with someone, you spend time with this person, maybe you try to set up something with this person, some kind of project or whatever, and it's just not matching. And I feel with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords and the Moon in Reverse that it's time to make a courageous decision when it comes to your current connections, especially the business connections. And to cut out everything that no longer suits you, okay? Um, you have maybe outgrown some kind of people, communities or whatever, right? And it's time now to go. And also, you know, like the other way around, if some people um, cut you out for maybe no reason or a certain reason, then... Just know that it happens for your best. Okay? What else? And very often we will only understand afterwards. Be aware that not everyone has your highest well-being in mind. Okay? Because Seven of Swords, I have to say it the way it is. Okay? You know me. I'm not sugarcoating. This is the deception card. This is the red flag card. So please know who's your enemy and who's your friend, okay? The flowers. The flower card is coming out in all three piles. This is the book, Secrets, and this is also the moon. So we have the moon card twice. Interesting. It's all about your feelings and emotions. It's all about your gut, you know, your intuition. And for some, I feel maybe you are a little bit too much into your feelings. And for others, it's the exact opposite. So please take it um, with a grain of salt. See what resonates. Are you someone who tends to build up castles in the air, you know, uh, who gets lost in wishful thinking, who sees everything through rose-colored glasses and, and, you know, things like that? Or are you maybe a little bit too pragmatic? Are you too technical? Are you maybe even afraid of feelings, trying to avoid deeper connections? I don't know. You know. So I think it's either this or that way. So some of you must connect a bit more with your heart and emotions. And for others, it would be beneficial to be a little bit more straightforward and to the point. And I know it's not easy to differentiate between it. I know it. But this is a, you know, I mean, this is YouTube, right? This is entertainment. This is an open reading. And yeah, you just have to have to differentiate whether this is your message or not whether it's your message because it definitely is your message but what's your message is this this or that you know okay anything else pile number three rosetta is coming up and she's saying that you have the gift 
to work with people, especially younger people, by the way. Not necessarily babies or children, but younger people. Maybe you have a certain amount of experience, you know, like maybe you do what you do for a very long time and this is why people seek your guidance. And you are very talented, you know, like to teach and to guide. And um, one of your missions here on earth is to help people and to teach. Yeah, so beautiful. This could be me, actually. This could be my pile because, I mean, you know me. I'm a teacher. I'm a yoga teacher. I teach yoga. Yeah. And most of my clients, most of my students are um, a little bit younger than me. Some are my age and some are a bit older, but most of them are, you know, the average yoga student is definitely a bit younger than I am. And that's okay. That's actually a great feeling to know that I can share from my experience, you know. I'm not a rookie anymore. Nothing against rookies. I think there is a magic in every life um, stage, right? There's a magic in being young. There's a magic in being older. Pile number three. Anything else? The next seven to ten days. Express yourself clearly. Exactly. And this is where we, you know, like where the circle closes. Like we're coming back to the beginning. Queen of Swords. Like be straightforward. Be clear. You know, express yourself without any doubt. Don't beat around the bush. Um, speak from your heart. But also like with, um, yeah, being mature. And, and don't... And tell people exactly what you want and what you don't want anymore, right? So I think this is basically the message, the most important message for you, part number three. So I leave it here. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, you guys. Please don't forget this. It's just one click. So please be, uh, be so kind and support me. And I'll see you on the other side. Bye.